Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be sharing with you guys what I got through last week. Um, so let's start with, well we'll start with the non-wax stuff and then I'll show you something a little fun and then we'll jump into the wax. So the first thing that I got through was a laundry li liquid in Palm Beach Breeze. And I also had a dryer disc in the same scent, but I must have tossed it. So, um, and if you notice, there's no top on this. <clears throat> so I use these tops because they're a pump um, on the Scentsy Dish Soap because it's the amount that squirts out is perfect. So um, just a little tip for you guys, if you guys do use the laundry liquid, and you do use the, the soap, save your pumps, because they're great. Um, then I got through a hand soap in Ghoul Friends, and the notes on this are dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. And this was really nice. I enjoyed this for Halloween, and so did my family, so that was, that was a win. So before we get into the wax, um, so there for a while I was using um, cotton balls and I was finding that I was using so many cotton balls. So I decided, you know what, I've been hearing everybody talk about their hot dumps. So um, that's what I decided to do. So this is my pretty little swirl of everything that is the hot dump. And the last one that I did, actually it's pretty fun because it has glitter on it. So I think what I'm gonna do in the summertime is I'm gonna actually buy some wicks and um, put a wick in this. And then in the summertime when we're sitting out on the patio, I can have a crazy swirly candle. So. Just wanted to show you guys that something a little fun so we are going to get in to i want to try and keep it all together so we'll do scentsy first and then i will do all my vendor wax last so the first one that i got i actually finished this one is apple s'mores from scentsy And the scent description on this is harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk leads to a tantalizing twist to classic toasted marshmallow, vanilla cream, and warm sandalwood. You guys, this is amazing. Um, I don't know why I didn't dive into this bar earlier because I've had it for so long, but it is gorgeous it's like a smoky apple scent and I really enjoyed this and I just use one cube um, in my warmers and it lasted me a solid two days so I, I'm I'm very pleased that it lasted so long I'm sad because I don't have any more but I have lots more wax to enjoy uh, the next one that we got through is almond croissant from Scentsy and almond cro croissant is a fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond so about this bar you guys it smells wonderful I really 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 enjoy the scent like you you get that buttery croissant and you get just like a little, little hint of the cinnamon sugar, but it didn't last very long for me. Like I put it in my warmer and I got like eight hours. So, um, which is not typical for most of my Scentsy stuff, but it was really nice while it was going. So really 
enjoyed that. Just wish it lasted a little bit longer. Then we have A Dance of Autumn from the Disney Frozen 2 collection from Cincy. You guys, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the scent description on this is fresh notes of apple float on the wind through forest woods, conjuring the spirit of swirling leaves. And I will tell you guys, this definitely had that apple and leaf scent. It was gorgeous and it lasted for a solid three days in my warmer. So I was very happy about that. But once again, this is another one that I don't have another bar of. So uh, if it comes out again and gets re-released, I will definitely be giving this another try and repurchasing. So I was super, like I said, super happy to have warmed it. Super sad because I don't have it anymore. But like I said, I have plenty of wax. So now we're going to move on to my vendor wax. So the first one that we're going to do is Butt Naked from the Pink Prissy Pig Wax Company. And this one was light. Um, it almost had kind of like that bum bum uh, scent. And I don't know. It just, I don't know if... I didn't use enough or if it's just a light performer, but um, I have a little bit more of it, so I'll definitely be giving it that another try. Then we had Apple Pie from Pacific Northwest Wax Melts, and this one was good. Um, it wasn't super strong, but it was like a nice, like strong cinnamon apple pie scent and it lasted for about six hours so i was happy i don't know that i would repurchase that but um enjoyed it while i had it um then we did let's see here i made it i made a note here so this was pennywise from Britta's Creepy Treasures, and this was caramel kettle corn, strawberry pound cake, and cotton candy frosting. And this one was nice. I definitely picked up the uh, caramel kettle corn, which, you know, it was a sweetness to that strawberry pound cake. And I don't really think that I smelled the cotton candy frosting, but maybe that was just the sweetness that I thought was coming from the caramel kettle corn. Um, but this was really nice. Uh, it lasted, I want to say this one lasted about seven hours. So, I mean, for vendor wax, that's, that's pretty good. So, um, I will definitely, if I see that again, would definitely repurchase that. Then we have Hostess Orange Cupcakes from L3. And this was nice. It was a orange cupcake scent. Um, I don't know if it was really like seasonally appropriate, but um, I wanted to melt it, so I did. And this one lasted about six hours. So I don't know if that would be a repurchase for me. It wasn't anything that I was like super crazy about. Okay, let's save that one for last. Okay, so this one, this one was very interesting. So it's Cotton Candy Surprise from Lavender and Speckles. And this was a sample that she sent me. Um, yeah, so the performance on this was amazing. Super strong, lasted like eight or nine hours in my warmer. But you guys, this did not smell like cotton candy to me at all. This smelled like baby powder. Like, yeah, Johnson's, Johnson and Johnson's baby powder. That's, and it, it smells like that on cold. So I don't know if this was mislabeled or if my nose just can't pick up cotton candy, but I mean, performance was amazing. 
Um, maybe I will give this another shot. Um, not this particular piece because this particular piece smells like Johnson & Johnson baby powder. Um, but I might try and when I place my next order with her and see if I get a different scent off that. And then last but not least. So I just did my haul on this like two days ago. This is Princess Bear, which is vanilla lace, soft amber, rain, coconut, and tonka bean from Vintage Cheek Scents. And this, you guys, was like a little sample. It smelled so good. It was so pretty. It was like a beautiful vanilla scent. It went all day in my warmer. And I went on to her website because I know she's going out of business. And yeah, everything was like wiped out, completely wiped out. So um, it appears that she might be having one more release before she closes. So um, I think I'm gonna like go hog wild on all these samples that she sent me and um, keep my fingers crossed that I can get some more of it because this performed really well in my home. So yeah, you guys, that was um, what I got through this past week. Uh, thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. And if you are not currently subscribed, if you could please um, hit the subscribe button. And if you do enjoy this type of content, if you would hit the notification button, that way you get notified anytime I upload videos, which is usually once a week. If I do get an order, then you'll probably see two videos from me during the week. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.